Hello, it's Pierre from Geo Designs. In this video, I'm going to share with you a plugin which enables you to have a Photoshop directly in Figma and 100% for free. And uh, of course, I'm talking about Photopea, which is uh, a tool which I'm using quite often, especially for things like my YouTube uh, thumbnails, Instagram posts, uh, and uh, Twitter posts, and so on. So the very first thing that you want to do is to go under the plugins section and simply search for Photopy. And as you can see, the very first search result is going to be that. So simply install it. And in my case, of course, I already have it installed. So I'm simply going to click on it. As you can see, do you have this uh, error message? And the reason why we have it is because in order for you to use this uh, plugin, you first need to select to make a selection. So in this case, uh, we're going to edit uh, this uh, letter right here. So I'm going to click under the plugins again, uh, photo P. And as you can see, it uh, loads up uh, and very familiar user interface uh, for those of you who are already familiar with uh, Photoshop simply because it's uh, almost uh, a carbon copy. There's almost a zero learning curve if uh, you already know how to use Photoshop. So you have all the tools, uh, you have all the layers system, uh, all of the uh, items and options which uh, you're used to uh, when it comes to Photoshop, even the, sh the same shortcuts. So if I use uh, Command plus uh, U, of course it's not working <laughs> right here, but uh, essentially if we go and uh, select the hue and saturation, uh, you're going to notice, and probably it's not uh, working because I haven't, I wasn't having the window selected for some reason. But as you can see, it's uh, pretty much uh, the same options as in Photoshop. So I can quickly change the colors right here. I can change the saturation. And this gives uh, such a, a massive uh, advantage in using Figma because so many of these options aren't really available in Figma. And uh, it's such a pain to have to either have a Photoshop subscription in order to just be able to do these tweaks. Uh, but also having to switch between softwares, it's, um, it's kind of a, a pain. So this uh, is really, really interesting. And the way it works is you make your changes right here and say that you're happy with it. It's going to save it. And then I'm going to close it. And as you can see, the change is already made in the live Figma file. So this is uh, how it works. I'm not going to go into the detail because uh, to be honest, uh, there's a lot uh, to uncover and uh, it will make it for a one hour video easily. So my best recommendation is to just search uh, a video on the basics of Photoshop uh, and uh, you're pretty much going to, to nail all of, the, um, all of the tools because uh, for the very most part, you know, the cropping tool is the same. Uh, the, uh, lasso tools, of course, which enable you to, to select a specific region. Then you can copy and paste and uh, have different layers. Like all of the native Photoshop uh, options uh, are available directly here in uh, Photopea, or at least uh, even if it's not all of them, all of the main components, the one that uh, you would use uh, on a day-to-day -day basis uh, when it comes to um, Photoshop uh, usage, uh, it's all, all the basics are there. So have a look uh, and uh, hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about uh, Figma, both plugins and also tutorials, feel free to check out the other videos as well as uh, the blog posts, uh, which we're posting uh, on a weekly basis. And I'm going to leave the link in the description and I'll leave you to the very next video.